He did. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. She get a cut. I'm actually going to text her and be like, hey, if you see a random influx of people from Cleveland, <laughs> I don't know if they have the locations on there. I don't know. And again, ask if I can get a free. free no, drink. Bill. Green <laughs> creep. <laughs> Alan, I would watch you Instagram live. Anything. Yeah. Ooh. That's right, baby. So I'm going to do it. When? Do me an Instagram live. I don't know. You'll have to tune in. I don't know. You guys want to? I, wanna... I, I have thought about it. I'm like, oh, it'd be kind of fun. I mean, you know. Should I Instagram live me reading my book? Are you going to read it out loud? <laughs> no, I'm just going to read it. You should honestly, <laughs> people will probably sit and watch sit to in, my, in my yeah. bed and read my book and react to it. If you uh, do it with cleavage, you'll get a ton of viewers. Yeah. You, you should just go. <gasps> yeah, just yeah, like yeah. that. <gasps> no. Oh, my God. What? No. Oh, I never saw that coming. What do you mean there was a cactus? Whoa. Plot oh. twist. Dude. Oh, my God. So I stayed at my sister's house last night. I got uh, And my mom lives there. And it's 2.30 in the morning. Your mom lives at your sister's house. Yeah, my mom and my sister live together. Did we? Oh, I, we I that. was. Yeah, that's been the, okay. that's been the thing for a while. Right. And I went over there last night. And um, my mom, it's 2.30 in the morning. I'm asleep. Dead, dead asleep. And I hear. So all three of you are living there. No, I just went over there last night. I see. Um, we, uh, it's like dead of night. My, I hear like a, oh, Oh no, is your mom oh, oh, oh. like that? And I was like, what the hell? And then um You're like, please don't let it be right. that. Well, please don't I let was it like, is this like a ghost? There was like, an also a No, there wasn't, right? But then I hear then I hear Help me <laughs> Help me Like in dream. that voice. And my sister, I wake my sister up, I was like, dude, what is that? And she goes, Oh, she's dreaming. Like Night it didn't terrors. mean anything to her. I said, Who? She goes, Mom. And she just goes into my mom's room and wakes my mom up. My mom is screaming, oh, oh, help me. And my sister wakes her up. And my, my sister's like, mom, mom, you're dreaming. You're dreaming again. And um, Does your mom have night terrors regularly? I Well, so I, my mom, once she was awake, she started hysterically laughing. Like, could not stop laughing. She's laughing so hard. And I was like, Like she was what? in the Bill Squire comedy taping. Yeah, I was like, Boom. what the hell is going on? And she was like, I had a dream that an alligator was trying to bite my arm <laughs> off. And she's like going through this whole dream what? about how she's trying to fight off this alligator. And she was screaming for help and nobody would help her. And, uh... It was just, it was one of the craziest things because it woke us all up out of a dead night. My mom and my sister are laughing. My sister just goes right back to bed. My mom's like, ha, 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 how funny is that? And I'm like, I legitimate, because I'm reading these scary books. I'm like, I legitimately thought someone was possessed by a ghost. Help me. Like, that's exactly the tone you she was using, too. didn't think somebody was possessed by a ghost. I didn't know what was going on. You knew the it wasn't The middle of the that. night. The middle of the night. I'm just saying. Hey, Chris. How you doing? What's up, man? So, uh, I had a little bit of interesting call uh, on Brown Friday related to kind of your OnlyFans topic. So, uh, I went to this house out in the, your neck of the woods. I uh, won't say the ex- exact town, but it, it it was definitely an OnlyFans house. They, these, the, 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 the people that were... They lived in this house. It immediately we pulled up. We saw a bunch of nice cars, and these like these, they were probably like twenty to thirty year old ladies that they were definitely running some type of OnlyFans out of that house. Okay. And it, and we went there for a plumbing issue, and they were they from what it looked like they were rolling in the dough. Oh, you're like a, you're a, you're a, you're like a, you're a laborer. You were there to do something specific. I thought you meant that you were like. Gonna act with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. You had no, auditioned for un- a role or something. No, I was there to unclog the toilet. Yeah. The toilet. That's how they all start, bro. They all start <laughs> that way. Yeah. Hey, you guys got some, you need some pipe laid over here? <laughs> or you walked right into their hands, Chris. It was, and it was like we, we had to escape because I had the apprentice with me, and uh, he, he's a little bit younger and a little more agile than me, and he was I could tell I need to get him out of there as quick as possible. We needed to get, and they didn't. They didn't even want to pay, but we. They obviously paid and probably broke his heart, but we left. They didn't want to pay. What do you mean? Is there it, anything? It, else it was kind of strange. Do? Like they were, they were like definitely they were doing like a, a party in the living room. 
like TikTok or something and like showing off and we just that's the point where I we just had to roll out of there as quick as possible. Was it in a subdivision or like was it uh, a, like just on a straight residential street or what was the It was a pretty nice looking subdivision of like pretty much like your typical suburbia. Gotcha. You're talking like Avon Westlake that area. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, hey, good for them, man. You know what? You never know what your neighbors are doing, but when they pull up in a, a brand new uh, Bentley or something, you pretty much figure it out. A bunch of bad bitches in a house. I know exactly what they do. <laughs> what do you mean? A bunch of bad bitches. Yeah, but you said that they were like, what, mid, mid late 30s? Probably early 30s. They kind of were like, they, they definitely look like moms. Yeah, like I was going to say, it's, single women, it's not a house full of sorority sisters. A bunch of single women in a nice neighborhood in a nice house. Like... They're yeah. bored to death all day long. Yeah, and it was on Brown Friday, too. That's where it was kind of like a busy day for me, so we had to get in and out, so we couldn't mess around. Busiest plumbing day of the year, yeah? Yeah, it was It was a, It was. was uh, probably like a 15-hour day. Ugh. Brown Friday's paying for Chris's Bentley. And he can keep his clothes on. All right, thank you, Chris. Thank you. All right, there's Chris. Walked into an OnlyFans house. Oh, that's all right. Maybe you should just do that at your house, Pound King. Bye! Have a great Friday, you motherfucker. <laughs> That's so dumb. Hey, I have a trip to give to ya. Our Alter Ego Festival. I don't know how many years we're into this, but they do it in January in California, and that's all the uh, reason you need to get out of Ohio for a couple of days. Paramore, the 1975, the Black Keys. 30 seconds to Mars Bush, some 41, yellow card, and more. At the Honda Center out in Anaheim, uh, middle of January, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week will be the last three trips. Uh, but you can get the last one here this week. Listen closely and good luck. Now, your chance at a trip to our iHeartRadio alter ego. Text the nationwide keyword ALT to the number 200-200. You'll get a confirmation text and info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's ALT to 200-200. You know, I, was, uh, I, I got a letter from one of our bureau chiefs who listens in Corpus Christi, Texas. Right there on the Gulf. And they sent me a link to a story where witch bottles are washing up on the beach. Which bottles are washing up on the beach? Witch bottles. Which are bottles are washing up on the beach? Which bottles are washing up on the beach? Which bottles are... I'm asking. Which bottles are washing up on the beach? And they're worried... I don't know. I'm asking you which bottles are washing up on the beach. I'm telling you which bottles are washing up on the beach. I need which to know bottles which are bottles are washing up on the beach. I just beach. told you which <laughs> bottles are washing up on the beach. What kind of bottles are <laughs> I just told you which bottles are washing up on the beach. We could do this all night. <laughs> uh, and they uh, people are scared to open them because the witch bottles are used for spells. Oh. You know, certain uh, cultures, they think that they can uh, fill bottles full of things that will thwart uh, evil uh, spells and uh, torment other witches or something like that. And they're washing up there in Corpus Christi. And the bottles are traditionally, well, not traditionally, but they can be filled with all kinds of detritus. They can have human hair. They can have fingernail clippings. They can have uh, urine in them. And now there's a lot of them washing up on the beach there. And um, a lot of people say that they're too scared to open them. One guy said that uh, he and his wife found a bunch of them. His wife refuses to even let him bring them in the house. Uh, the Caribbean in South America is probably the most, like, you know, given that this is Corpus Christi. Is probably Which the most bottles can't I bring in the house? Yes. <laughs> which bottles? No, you no, cannot bottles bring those. Can't I, I bring just, in the house? Which bottles? You, if you find a witch bottle. Which bottles can't I bring in? You can't bring in the witch bottle. Listen closely. Okay. You well, can't, if you find which bottle, you can't bring it in. How do I know which bottle I can't bring in? Because it's a witch bottle. <laughs> Anywho, if you're down there in Corpus Christi and you find one of these bottles, don't open it up. 
because it might be full of spells. Witch pee? It's not a Pringles can, Mary. It's a got, witch bottle. Got witch pee in it. Hey, Jake. They sell those pretty, for pretty lucrative. Huh? <laughs> witch pee? Yeah. Which pee is it? <laughs> My morning pee. Hey, oh. hey, Jake. Hey, Alan, how are you? Good, man. What's up? I got a funny story. It's very similar to Mary's, and I'll try to be quick because I'm sure oh, it's more good funny to me. Oh, for you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then you're, so uh, set the scene. Uh, my wife and I in our mid-20s are on a uh, small trip with her parents, and then her aunt and uncle came down for a few days to stay. We're in our room. We're sleeping. I've never had night terrors before, but I'm running away from zombie skeleton person. I'm in a hotel or a, a hospital where you're running through doors that have, the, like, the little window. And it's doors every five foot. And I'm getting away. I'm pushing open the door. I'm getting through. I'm getting through. And then I, I get to a point where I stop, and I turn around, and the face just pops right up in the window. And I let out one of those sounds like Mary's mom, the... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and my wife at the time wakes up, and she goes, what in the hell was that? And we just hysterically laugh for the next, I mean, probably 30 minutes. And we get up, you know, we, we eventually go to bed. We get up the next morning, and we're sitting around the breakfast table, and we're like, did anybody hear anything last night? And her aunt kind of, you know, and they're, you know, open family, funny family, and she goes, I just thought it was screams of passion. Yeah. It, was, it, was just, it was just Jake being, uh, you know, uh, chased by a demon in a hospital or something. <laughs> she, thought the scream, the, she thought the girly screams of passion were coming from you and not your <laughs> wife or girlfriend <laughs> She didn't know who it was coming from. She just heard a sound that was, oh, yeah. was just a, yeah. a nice, you know, trip. So. Yeah, he nice was walking show. down the hall with a sheet and eye holes cut out. Thank you, Jake. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Alan, what's going on? What's up? Hey, I just wanted to let Mary know I know exactly what she's talking about. <laughs> My girlfriend has nightmares constantly, like 75% of the nights. I'll hear she'll wake me up in the middle of the night, and she is screaming in her sleep. You know, she and, and her voice wavers. It's like, ah, help me! Ah, no, no, no. So it is so funny. I'm starting to record it. It is the funniest thing in the world. I feel bad for her though, dude. She constantly doing it. It's insane. Now, is it only, I feel like night terrors might be a bit of a misnomer. Is it only when you're sleeping, or is it when the sun goes down, you can have a terror? Because this time of year, boy, you could be having afternoon terrors. So is it contingent uh, on the know, sun I, being down, or it's contingent on waking from a, from a deep sleep? No, it's usually, yeah, in a, in a, in a deep sleep, Dreaming. like during the night. Right, I've never yeah. heard it during the, yeah, she's having, like, legit nightmares at night while she's sleeping. <laughs> hmm. All right. It's crazy, man. Constant, too. All right. Well, be careful out there, Kevin. Yeah, I hope you can get some sleep. Yeah, yeah I got to watch out, you know. She nope. might stab me. Right. <laughs> yeah. You sleep with the door locked. I don't want her coming in here. You know, I was reading that a lot of people think that these people who bought the Mavericks from Mark Cuban are going to move the team. Where? I don't know. Why? Las Vegas. Cleveland, Ohio. You know, could we support two NBA teams? No. There are markets that support two baseball teams. Right? Yeah, I mean. I'm a White Sox fan, but plenty of my friends are Cubs fans. Has there a mar ever been a market that supported two NBA teams? Yeah, Los Angeles. Uh, the Clippers and the Lakers. Okay. Yeah. And could Cleveland got... do that? No. I don't think so. All right. Could we support... Two tennis clubs. What's the heavy duty, heaviest duty sports situation we could uh, support here? Could we have two? Yeah, it would be nice if we got a soccer team. Actual, like you, you mean two? Honestly, the only thing that I think Cleveland would show up for is two football teams, but you'd have to name them both the Browns. <laughs> <laughs> That's a caveat. The Browns are playing yeah, tonight. The, the Browns playing and the Browns, Browns like, against, like, against the Browns. Ah, ah, the Browns and the oranges. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I show up for the swim team. You what? Swim team. Swim Just team. Put a big old pool. Okay. Somewhere. A professional swim. I was. I mean, I was thinking more of like, you know, big oh, hockey sports teams. Oh, I know teams. what you were. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I would show up for the swim team. I I promote that. Okay. Hmm. 
Um, yeah, I don't think. I mean, I guess there's a chance they can move, but I just I think Mar- Dallas is such a big and lucrative market. Why would you want to move out of that? There's place? a lot of money there. Yeah. Like if you're, it seems move, very unlikely. If you're going to move an NBA happening. team, you're not going to move one that's in a top ten market. You're going to move one to where Montana. Yeah, like, like you're going to you're going to move. <laughs> or you're going to get a, a new franchise in Vegas. It's going to be a new team altogether. It's the Bozeman Mavericks. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. Well, there's a lot of oil money up there. Double the black population overnight. <laughs> overnight. <laughs> I got a break here. Uh, I will have those last four tickets to get you to Castle Noel down there in Medina. If you like your Christmas heavy duty, then Castle Noel is going to be for you, America's largest year-round indoor Christmas entertainment attraction. So we'll do that on the way back. The Bill Squire Friday Get Down within the hour. That's how we start the weekend around these parts. If you want to text me, 35192, and we'll be back. It's the Alan Cox Show on 